I was in shock, but you can't stay in shock for too long because that's time. That's ticking away. Went back to my father. This is serious now. You need to take me on. We need to go. We need to go to Vegas. That's where your trade shows are. At that point in time, where you buy a machine, you see every single thing how it's worked, and you see your deal there. Thank God, I, my mother persuades my father beautifully. So I went to my mother. She went to my father, and we managed to go to Vegas. And we managed now to have the equipment line up. Believe me, it, it didn't, it is not a success story where we say we, soon we got those machines, it was, it, it was the slowest process ever. And up to now, one year later, from after purchasing those machines, we are still negotiating with key account holders to be nationwide. You know, we are still negotiating with distributors for that specific product to be online. Why? Because again, certain business models, example, distributors, normally import. So now there's a cost of change. The other item that Pascos is focusing on is rice cakes. Again, with the same premise of import substitution. Let me tell you how this idea came about. Again, going back to the board, you know, we like to exercise. I'm in the gym. I'm hearing these women speaking. Oh my gosh, I cannot get rice cakes anywhere. What's going on with Quaker boy? They, they, I don't know, it's just not on the shelves. I was like, huh. I have seen the process of how rice cakes was made in trade shows. That same morning, I couldn't wait to finish. I went to research, just found the price, every single thing. It was my personal last $50,000 I had to my name. Because at that point, I was not getting back into Pascals. That was last year, October, so I wasn't quite there yet. And I said to myself, this is either make or break. But all the lessons that I learned along the way, I wasn't going to make the same mistake I made with the Chabata Cafe. Because this time, Despite I move too fast according to my father, I slowed down a lot. Still have some more story now to do, but at least there was a, a financial evaluation. Not an entire business plan evaluation, but a financial one. I understood my ROI. I knew exactly the figures behind. I, and I knew it intimately. And most importantly, I knew the branding was critical because I was going to be competing with Quaker next to each other. I should have had my rice cake on top of here. But we are nationwide. We are poised for export next year. Thank you. <laughs> Two sharings, and I'm grateful for the fact that both Robert Mamunez and Mr. Arthur Lockjack take their busy time and their, the amount of wealth and knowledge that they have to take time even to have a conversation with me. Robert would tell me, Melissa, never think business is more than it is. He says, you know what I mean? I was like, no, not really. He goes, just add value. Do not overcomplicate it. And the key to become a successful entrepreneur is to stay in your crease. Those singles, that consistency. You no, know, it's a number of opinions, you're one in your block. You're one, and you do those singles 365 days a year. And let me tell you, I've implemented that in my set. And I heard that how many ever years ago? That is the multiplier effect, that is compound effect. And as Einstein said, the compound effect is the eighth wonder of the world. It is time. We have to invest it 
every single day and achieve a small win every single day. Mr. Arthur Lockjack, we were at Yara, and I was shocked by this. He turns to me, and he packed our auditorium. Melissa, I said, yes, sir. Um, I have good luck, and I have something else to share with you. Your brand. Every single thing is life is about your brand. My product, he says, can be produced anywhere in the world through contract manufacturing. But what cannot be replicated is my brand. Formula is important. Formulation for any manufacturer is critical. But it must formula plus branding equals value. Because that's what the customer sees. So his brand is synonymous. Everything with quality, meaning every time you open a Sunshine Snacks, you will probably get 80% every time. Quality. So that's what he means. You know, I would say right now, at this moment, as the managing director of Pascal's Bakery, I earned that title September the 7th. That was my 33rd gift I guess my father gave to me. He said, you want pressure? Take it. <laughs> <laughs> he did. And I think I can safely say that I am in the entrepreneurship stage. Now, that would last for years, and it's a continuous, beautiful learning process, because I, I have chosen my path. And I am managing and balancing these four on a daily basis. Because I've recently got, gotten married in July, and that is another balancing act of being a wife and a future mother, and understanding that priorities, and that which goes first, second, and third. And it's so critical to get that and to have an understanding partner, someone who's ready to walk with you on that journey. And one last two graphs I want to sh I want to share. It's called the un un untangling. This here is anybody's problem. It could be life. It could be business. It could be employees, it could be your children, it could be your wife, it could be your husband. But one thing about tangles is that you have to approach it with finesse. You have to approach it with understanding and delicately weave it out. Because if you go and pull and pull, it will get tighter and you're going to have to throw that mess away. Now I'm slowly learning that process because I am, my default is very brutish. But again, it's about learning. And the last thing that I am recognizing is that there's a correlation. This is quality and this is time. Most of our lives may look like this. This sporadicness. Because we are lacking quality consistently, consistency. How do we maintain and not look like an earthquake and eventually get to stabilization? It's, it's okay to go like this a little bit, you know. But you really don't want these big spikes. And for me, for my business, this is where we are right now. We are now sort of getting here. Why? Because when you don't have internal controls that aren't being followed, when, you're not account when your leaders are not accountable, when your operation staff keeps hitting and missing, affecting the quality of your product, your CSRs do not deliver on customer service. What do you think ultimately that, that affects? It affects your sales, it affects your bottom line, it affects your brand, and it causes earthquakes in your business because it affects money. We need to get to a point that is stabilizing, and that way it is consistency, and that is what Arthur Lockjack was speaking about when he says your brand. Guys, 
I have shared a piece of my journey, some aspect of my formula, and I hope to God that something resonated. You may have a note somewhere, mental, mental note, note on paper that you're going to implement. Doesn't matter how small it is. And that is me. And thank you very much for listening.